Welcome to your July 15th through the 30th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Um, I did buy a microphone but it did not work so if you hear that background noise I'm sorry. I have the window open I have two fans going my air conditioner is still broken. Um, I just want to let you know today we're going under the sea but August you're definitely going to want to subscribe and hit that little bell icon because we're going to be going to Wonderland. Uh, August the 1st. So that's super exciting. Uh, but again, today we are going under the sea. And let's get started. We're going to be using the under the sea tarot. And we're going to be using dolphins and mermaids. So today we're actually only using one tarot. Great. What is the central theme of Taurus's reading today? What is the central theme of Taurus's reading? Okay, so I have positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations to avoid negativity. That's beautiful. Okay, I need three cards for what's going on on Taurus's mind. Three cards for what's going on. Okay, I to come out. We have the Four of Shells, which is the Four of Cups in the traditional deck. Uh, see that dolphin? It represents friendship and wisdom, and he's bringing this cup, and cup represents love and emotions. He's bringing it to her, but she's just so apathetic. She doesn't care. She's looking at what she doesn't have and what she's lost. So this is apathy. Um, this is being moody, depressed. Um, a need for new friends, a new social scene. Because you're just not happy with what you currently have. The grass is green and on the other side. Two more cards for what's going on in Taurus's mind, please. Two more cards, okay. So I have, uh, there's not a happy family here. You feel like you've lost that. We have the um, Ten of Shells in the reverse. So this is a broken home or marriage. This is a misalignment of values. But we're getting a lot of this water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Specifically, we have a Cancer, and then we have a Pisces. So, so we could be talking about the Cancer season, which is now, and we could be talking about uh, a Pisces. There's a lot of passion there at one point, but it was just it fizzled out. One more card. Yeah, I don't see it mentally. You don't feel like there's any new passionate beginnings. You have blocked or repressed emotions internally. What's going on in Taurus's family and home life? What's going on in Taurus's family and home life? Okay, so I have the uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse. So there's being hypercritical, being a perfectionist. There could be somebody with OCD here, dysfunctional, negative, severe, very cold. This is she's sometimes called the Ice Queen. She's sometimes called the Ice Queen. Uh, bitter, malicious, nasty, cruel. There's a liar, a cheat, mind games. There could be fertility issues or clouded thoughts. What else is going on in Taurus's family and home life? Two more cards for Taurus's family and home life, please. Two more cards for Taurus's family and home life, please. Two more cards for Taurus's family and home life, please. All right, so I have the two of starfish in the reverse. Now, starfish in this deck represents pentacles, and pentacles are your energy. That's that earth energy. So we have the two of starfish in the reverse, and there's um, being very disorganized. Your family and home life is somewhat disorganized, and there's 
just um, it could be financial disarray. And then we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So you're releasing pain. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There's brand new beginnings here because this is completed. This uh, strife that you're having in your family and home life, it's completed. It's over. Say you're baking cookies. Uh, one is you plan. This, this is an ace. This be one. This is, I'm going to make cookies today. And then two is, okay, I need to plan on making cookies today. And then three is I'm taking action to make the cookies. Well, when we get to 10, that's completing. That's, I've made the cookies, they're here. They're, they've manifested and now I can start making cookies all over again and plan a new idea. So there's new beginnings. So far I see a lot of emotions. And in your family and home life I am seeing a lot of conflict. Again this month, uh, we, we saw that the first of July and I'm seeing it again now. Uh, we have the winds of change, we have this air energy, and then we have your energy, we have this earth energy, which wants to be solid, practical, stable, right there in the center. In the past, there was nasty, cruel, ruthless lessons and speech. Um, this could actually be verbal abuse. And presently, I'm just seeing things are just completely out of whack. <laughs> Nothing is organized. Everything's just here, there, and everywhere. But I see in the future you are definitely releasing this pain. There is light at the end of the tunnel. This doesn't last forever. Uh, actually, October. I would say October things start to get a lot better in your family and home life. All right, so what's going on with Taurus's money? What's going on with Taurus's money? Three cards for you. All right, so I uh, have the three of shells in the reverse. Could be a third party situation here. Three is a crowd. Two more cards for Taurus's money, please. All right, so I have the devil. There's addictions. Okay. And then I have six of swords in the reverse. These don't have any numbers or writing on them because they cut them off. Uh, so I have to kind of count and be like, okay, <laughs> what number is this? All right, so the first one we have is the three of shells in the reverse. So there could be adultery here. There could be an affair. Uh, you're spending money on an affair or money was lost to an affair. Um, or there's three hands in the pot currently. Um, you could be working with three people. We have the devil. So these, this is addiction. This is um, Capricorn energy. This is Capricorn is earth energy just like you. So we're back in this earth energy. Um, but in the, in the upper, this is toxic. This is toxic. So these two together, there's three people here and it's very toxic with your finances. There's toxicity. Um, there could be sexual perversion. There could be drugs. There could be alcohol. Blocked or trapped emotions around money. False promises around money. I see it has to do with this uh, Gemini, the, whoever is being verbally abusive, it has to do with that. It's very emotional. And then the Six of Swords. In the reverse, it could be an Aquarius. 
um, you, you feel like you can't move on. You're carrying baggage. So financially in the past, I see there was an affair. There's three parties involved in your, in your finances. Um, presently, there's addictions. There's toxicity. And then in the future, I see that you're carrying baggage from whatever happened. And it looks like it does have to do with your family and home life. It did influence your finances. There is definitely some toxicity here. Okay. Yeah. It could be with the Pisces, and you need to change your perspective. You may want to go do yoga. Yoga would be a good idea to help you. There is hope. There's definitely hope here. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Things are just immature right now. They need time to mature. I do see that there is going to be a news of money that if you had a loan application, it will get approved with this card. There's new beginnings with this card. It's a solid, grounded new start. Um, this is a student studying, goal setting, learning, increasing their their uh, increasing their skill set, their knowledge. I'm leaving that there. That's in the, your social. All right, so your social and romantic life just came out, and this ends any advice. So I have the Seven of starfish in reverse. Uh, so this is your energy, and there's a lack of long-term vision here. So you need to look towards the future. There's a lack of long-term vision. You're just kind of floating about, um, and that's going to really help you along your way. All right, in your um, the social and romantic life, it actually already came out the three cards. We have your energy first, so um, you're actually not, you're breaking rules in your social and romantic life. You're breaking the rules. Um, you're rejecting orthodox ways. You're thinking for yourself. You're living by your own rules. You have a new belief system here. There is a fear here. There's a fear of the unknown. This is Aries energy. Um, this takes initiative. So you're taking the initiative, um, but there's a fear here. There's a fear of the unknown. And I see you moving on, accepting, forgiving whoever did this verbal abuse in your family. You're forgiving, you're accepting, and you're moving on. And that's what's going on in your social and romantic life. What's going on in your career? These two wonderful. All right, so I have the five of swords. There's conflict in your career. There could be abuse smugness, personal attacks. Heartbreak, loss, deep sadness. I 
malicious gossip, rude, spy, cold argument, slander. There's painful lessons here. In your career, things are changing and it's hurting you, it's deeply hurting you. There's a lot of conflict here in your career. But you need to surround yourself with positive energy and um, abandon all negativity. It's not doing anything for you. You need to change your perspective and take up yoga. Um, do meditation. Well, Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, have a wonderful day.